she did. I've never managed to do that before, but there we go, we did that. Alright, so there it was. It was easy, as people had said. Um, but I've never managed to get a broken bolt out of anything. Um, so yeah, this was a first. And thanks to everyone who made such great suggestions. Um, Left-handed drill bits are the way to go, turns out, for this one at least. Not so easy to come by in New Zealand. Well, I say that. I ordered them online from our kind of trade me, which is our equivalent of eBay or Kijiji, about two weeks ago. And they didn't turn up, they didn't turn up. And uh, then I went down to the uh, engineering supplies place, because it turns out Ford doesn't stock these bolts. Um, so I picked up a generic bolt. And they also had the same set. The, this is uh, Bordeaux, it's an Australian company. 10 piece screw extractor set, uh, which includes your left handed drill bits and some extractors all in one. Handy kit. Uh, the retail price on that was $103.50. I think I paid $76, which is about what I paid on online anyway. So, no, that was good. I like my. Rangura Engineering Supplies, they always look after me. Um, so what did we do to get that out? Uh, I've lost I've lost it, I was too excited, I dropped everything. So um, what did we do? Right, so of course, you got to centre the bolt. Uh, and I'll try to centre punch it where it is. Wasn't that successful, well, it wasn't great. So what I ended up doing was taking this like a four mil socket and using that as a bush so put that in the hole put the drill bit in between and then we can't be too far from center so we went, went with that put a bit little bit of tape in there just to make it a snugger fit uh, I had a selection of sockets short and, short and long went on in uh, so what was that that was a minute or two of drilling and that's just come straight out Which ends which? Yeah, that. like that. So too easy. Um, and you can see the. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Let's get some light on that. That ended up. Uh, hang on, I don't know what I'm doing here. That ended up pretty well centered on there. So we'll call that a badger top top tip. Uh, if you're trying to center a bolt, center something. A drill. Uh, yes, standard sockets that've got a nice round hole through the middle work pretty well. Uh, so yeah, again, everyone who suggested left-handed drill bits supported me, helped me, gave me some inspiration to get this done. Thank you very much. As everyone said, it'd probably come out quite easy. It did. I wanted to avoid taking the whole timing cover off because then you'd have to replace the gasket. Gaskets aren't cheap. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, it turns out I had the wrong talk spec as well, so thanks for pointing that out. I think there was, I said it was a manual that got it wrong, but I think it was me that got it wrong. I kind of confused my bolt sizes or whatever else, so yeah. But even so, it wasn't even that tight, it really wasn't. But uh, it snapped, got a new one. Uh, I'm only going to replace the one I broke. Originally, I, I thought about replacing them all, but again, I can't order them from Ford New Zealand. I'll have to order them from Ford UK. They don't even list them. Well, they list the size M6 by 30, but they didn't list. They don't list part numbers. Don't list pricing. So we went with that. So thank you very much. We got it sorted. Crack on with this job. And oh, I've got so much work to do to put this um, car back together. But at least I'll be able to drive it to work hopefully on Tuesday. If I get a chance, so much going on here. But yeah, thanks very much. We'll catch you later. Cheers. Where's me off button?